friends, it is I, your friendly neighborhood elf, Taru Hunter, Taru, and we're back again in another episode of Dark and Light. So guys, <laughs> it's been an adventurous couple of days, let me tell you. I have been fighting with the server and trying to fix a problem where anytime you went anywhere near the elven city, you would crash within about 10 seconds if you moved, if you did anything. So, figured out the way to fix that particular problem was by doing a dino wipe. I tried everything. I really did. Uh, I'm recording this before my last episode will be posted on YouTube, but in that one I'm like, I don't know what to do. I tried everything. I'm just going to avoid the city for now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not going to work forever. So, I kept trying to figure out how to help people. I actually had somebody come and join my tribe because I was like, I feel so bad that you're crashing all over the place. Let me have you join my tribe so I can get you to this area so that you won't crash every five seconds because this area is not a problem. Oh, and now I have like 87 goblin friends trying to... I want this 116 though. I don't know if 20 arrows is going to be enough. We'll try. We'll see what's going on. But anyway, so yeah, I had him join my tribe because I was like, I don't know, I don't know how to fix it. It's a serious problem. So I've been fighting with that for the last couple of days. Been really busy trying to get ready for the Renaissance Fair. God, what are with all these high-level goblins? All kinds of stuff. So I think I have it fixed. I think the wild dino wipe did the trick. But I will not know for sure until later, and I need more people to test stuff, too. I need to kill this 108. He's gonna be a problem. Oh, that was probably not the right one to shoot. Dang it! Hang on. I don't want to kill... Oh, no! No, 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 no! I accidentally hit Z! That was bad. Oh, now they're gonna knock me out. This is so bad! They're gonna steal all my stuff! What the... Mmm, game! Well, game, here's something to note. Goblins can steal your stuff when you're trying to incarnate into Pan those jerks. It's the 108 that has my stuff. I would definitely want to kill the 16 and I want to tame the 116. Problem is, I'm going to get up and not have any stuff. Curses. I think I'm going to try to run back to my base, grab a hyena, and try to eat them on my hyena. I'll be waking up in a minute. Ah, oh, stupid goblins. Stupid goblins. You're all going to join my army. I'm actually going to go back to base. Haha! <laughs> Plan. I'm going to go back to base. I'm going to make up a new crossbow. I'm going to make a metric ton of taming arrows, and I'm going to get all of them. They're going to join my goblin army. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, no, you're not going to get me this time, broskies. I'm a heck of a lot faster than you. Woo, yeah. Over the fence. Kwing. All right, so I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm working on getting my new friends. Do not go in the water. Do not go in the water. Well, he's going to die. Bye, 116 goblin. Oh, the dingus. Well, that sucks. So much for that. Yep. Yep, he's in trouble getting eaten by piranhas. <sighs> Game. So guys, we were 100% unsuccessful in everything we planned to do other than getting our stuff back. <laughs> uh, Game. Why? It's okay. Frustration is part of the game. It's just like real life. Eh, I don't want a 44 boar. I do need to kill some stuff, so I need to get some more stone and some more um, need to get some more stone so that I can make some more arrows so that I can go kill some more stuff. And I need some more meat, because I'm hungry. Yay, game! <laughs> so today, my goal is to continue getting some more things that I need to be able to operate effectively in this game. Things that I have not yet gotten for one reason or another. So, I'm definitely... Oh, nope, not a three. Two. So I'm definitely wanting to get a little bit more established, get myself set up, be able to, you know, make the armors and things that I need. And I'm also going to keep looking at the quest lines and see what things I can get from them. Because I would eventually like to be able to incarnate into the Gorgon Lady 
as well as I don't think they have the Serenian incarnation yet, but I definitely know you can incarnate into the Gorgon Lady. So I'm gonna get on that. Oh, there's a oh, one of those guys. I don't even remember what they're called, but I want one. I want one. Guys, guys. I don't even remember what it's called. Hang on. Berinda, don't bother me. They're super fun. I think they're called... What are they called? I don't even remember. We're going to fly over there. We're going to find out what it's called. Come on, Autumn. Let's go. They're super useful. They're one of the best gatherers in the game. They're very hard to tame. And they're big derper derps. What are you guys called? Flare horns. Flare horns. Guys, there's some flare horns. They're both level 8. I wonder if I can tame them. That would be super helpful if I could tame one. But yeah, flare horns, they're awesome. Super, super awesome. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know about taming one of these guys right now. I'm going to leave them over here. Oh, there's a turkey. Hi, turkey. What level are you? 12? You're cool. I'll, I'll leave you over there. If you survive, I'll tame you. <laughs> but yeah, so the goal today is get regular stuff done. Maybe do a couple of tames. We'll see what comes from my adventures. I might go grab a flare horn. Mostly I just need to kill something right now. And Oh wait, I have meat in here. Duh. Taru's a little slow this morning. I'm pre-coffee, guys. I'm letting you know that right now. Pre-coffee. It's a thing. Whew. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go make some arrows, go look at the quest lines, and I'll bring you guys back after I figure out what the heck it is I'm doing. All right, guys, so we're working on the framework foundations, which allows you to make structures much more cheaply and easily to kind of give yourself a guidepost of where you want to place things. It allows you to um, map out exactly what you want your base to look like without using the actual materials. So it uses magic shards and quartz sand. So it looks really, really cool too, but unfortunately it only has a 50 durability. So you pretty much, oh, you can't damage your own buildings. But if you could damage your own buildings, you could kill it in a single swing. So not super useful for a long-term type situation, but definitely for plotting and planning and not wasting the gazillion resources that you need to make the things you need to make especially the higher tier stuff like the stone and the and the iron and whatnot. They're very, very expensive to make. So you want to make sure you're making the right thing instead of, oh gosh, I've messed up halfway through. Now I have to completely restart. And unlike a game like Ark, this game doesn't have the ability to pick up things you've already placed. You have to just destroy them and only get half the resources back. So that's where the framework comes into play. So yeah, that was one of the quests that was still in my quest line. I am going to show you a couple things. The meet with Pan, obviously we can't kill an overseer. Hunter Apprentice, we can do a couple of these quests, but eventually it comes to killing Akasha, which we can't do. We have the Handy Spear, which we can do up until killing a pigling, because there's no piglings in this map. Uh, Pan's Trial, we cannot kill a bog lord, so we can't progress any further than that on that one. So I was looking at some of these down here that are more along the lines of what we can do. We have to, oh, craft a goblin contract. I think I did. I think I just have to put it in my inventory, maybe? Gronk, do you have these for me? Oh, no. Put that back there. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can trick the game into thinking I didn't just do that. Oh, bugger. Um, where are we? Goblin contract. Task Those begins. goblin gizmos right. are pretty useful. Not only can you construct more complex items with them, but you can also use them to better study the technology of the goblin people. All right, let's see if this works. Yay, it worked. Thank goodness. Game, I tricked you. Ma -ha 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 -ha. All right, so now we have a goblin contract. We finished that goblin thing, that task. So if we scroll down here, do, 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 shape shifting, craft an elk shape shifting rune. I think I'm going to try to get this one. I love shapeshifting. As you increase and develop your understanding of this wild protean spirit, you can learn to focus those bestial energies not only internally, but outwardly as well. Eventually, this will even grant you the ability to reshape the appearance of others for a time. 
All right, so I'm gonna try to make an elk shape-shifting rune. I don't think, do I have the elky bits? I need hooves, I think, and an elk horn maybe. Let's go check the animal bits box. Oh, I have hooves. I have elk antlers. I think I need bone meal, so let's grind up some bones. Let's get some light in here too, since it's getting to be nighttime. Uh, bone. Of course I don't have any bone on me. Yeah. Animal bits. I have plenty of bone in here though. Holy bejesus. Do, 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 do. Go in there. Bone meal. All right, we're going to make 100 bone, and then we're going to go see what it actually takes to make an elk shape. Do I make that in my inventory? I think that's on the magic workbench. Yeah, it's definitely on the magic workbench. Magic workbench. And then we have spells. And then we have elk shape-shifting rune. We need, oh, we need four hooves. We only have two. So we got to go kill some stuff. Oh, but we got two goblin ballistas. Oh, yeah. Need a goblin contract to activate. Sweet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see about placing my goblin ballistas. And then we're going to have to go find some hooved creatures and eat them. <laughs> um, where do I want to put my ballistas? Probably on my roof. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to hold off on the ballistas because I don't know where I want to put them. I'm going to have to think about that for a minute. We're going to just put them away in here. Put them away, put them away. Okay. All right, so we can't make the elk shape-shifting rune until we have four hooves. I'm going to go check the barn, see if any of my meat eaters have hooves on them. If not, I'm going to take one of my panthers out and go eat stuff. So guys, we decided to take our bear out, and Ursa is a monster. Friggin' love this bear. If the other one ran, yeah, it ran. We're going to go chase it because our bear is pretty quick. <clears throat> and also this bear is ridiculously good at gathering things. We're gonna try to tag it with this one. That slows it. So we got the right click to slow and then left click to just wreck. Oh my gosh. And once I'm finished eating this, I'll show you guys. We have gathered five hooves, an antler, a bird feather, all kinds of stuff. This is oh, great. I love this bear. This bear is amazing. I didn't play with bears very much on my last playthrough just because they're, they are, they're hard to tame. They take a really long time to tame. They are super tough, which makes it so they kill you <laughs> when you're trying to tame them. But when you have a bear, especially a bear of this level, like this bear is a ridiculous level. She's already 157. So when you have a bear like this, man. You got no struggles. What is that? Oh, that's a waterfly. <gasps> Those things are awesome. You can actually ride them on top of the water. They're so cool. What is that noise? Oh, hyena pack. All right, let me show you the ridiculousness of this bear. Boom. Boom. Done. <laughs> I love this bear. I love this bear so much. But yeah, the waterflies are super cool. You can tame them. And ride them. <laughs> really fun. Really fun mount. They don't have a lot of weight. Obviously they're water flies. But you can run across the water on them. Which is really fun. I really enjoy I enjoyed my water fly when I had one. Roar bear. Eat everything. Gushk. Killed ya. But yeah. So this bear. No joke. Currently dealing like over 100 damage every single attack. This bear is ridiculous. But yeah, we'll definitely have to come down here at some point and get us a waterfly. I don't remember what they eat. I don't. I'll have to check in on that. I forget if they're herbivores or carnivores. <laughs> it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. But yeah, so if you can, get yourself a bear. They're amazing. I hear hyenas. Oh, a panther. Let's take out the panther. Oh, level 60 panther. Boy, 135 damage a hit. 135, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, panthers have quite a bit of health. But nope, not when it comes to bears. 
Bears just eat their faces. Oh, bear, I love you. So yeah, guys, we're going to head back to base and we're going to craft up that shape-shifting rune. So I'll bring you back when I've got my shape-shifting game on. All right, guys, so we have all the things we need to make our elk shape-shifting rune. You can see here we've also learned the wolf shape-shifting rune, the bear shape-shifting rune, and the deathstalker shape-shifting rune. So we're going to start with the elk. We're going to make an elk shape-shifting rune. Oh, yeah. Bam! Done! So, we not only have an elk shape-shifting rune now in our magic workbench. Oh, three of them. I forgot that it actually makes three. We also have a bear shape-shifting rune. So, let's go out here and show you guys what that stuff looks like. Do 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 It's your standard fun druid shape-shifting fun times. I'm going to become... The elk first. So, bloop. I'm an elk. I'm an elky elk. And then you press and hold E to turn back into your human form. Or you will turn back into your human form automatically in 600 seconds. So. Whoop. Why did I change? Oh, I probably pressed and held E to try to close the door. That's the only problem with the shape-shifting. If you press E, you will turn back into your form. Oh well. So let's show you guys the uh, bear form. Roar! Now I'm a bear! Alright, I'm not gonna press and hold E this time. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. See how much damage I do as a bear. I'm a burr! I'm a big old burr! Roar! This is my er face. I'm also ridiculously fast as a bear. What the heck? All right. Anything to eat? I don't want to get in a fight with another bear. Um, I think I see some hyenas and a flat horn over here. Oh, uh, that's a that's a kitty. Well, let's see how let's see how much we do, and then we'll decide if we're gonna stay over here or not. Okay, we do fifty. That's not going to be nearly enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. All right, come on. Take it out. Take it out. We're a big old bear. We got mad skills. Let's right-click. Roar. Oh, the right-click does 100. Nice. But it takes, uh, it takes our stamina a lot faster. So if we're not careful, we're going to knock ourselves out. But we killed it. Yay. We did it. We make a pretty good bear. <laughs> Just leveled up some air magic, too, which is nice. Got the wall of lightning staff head unlocked. Pretty sweet. I'm going to have to check and see what all things I have unlocked as well. I haven't checked my magic lines recently to see where I'm at, where I'm standing with a lot of those things. Oh, my God. All right, we're just going to keep... There we go. So we took a good bit of damage from that panther, but not a ridiculous amount. But now we're going to go home and turn back into ourselves and see what other shenanigans we can get into. Oh, guys, so I just found out, based off of turning back out of the bear form, that the damage that was dealt to me in bear form did not hold over when I turned back into my human form. That's amazing and super useful to know. So I will keep that in mind. You ever get into a tight spot, quick shape shift into a bear. <laughs> And you'll probably live. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're doing the quest to kind of level our thaumaturgy a bit. It's to make the spell tower. So we're making five magic essence at the moment, which takes magic shards and glass bottles filled with water. So we got a bunch extra there. We got 13 of them and we got one of the fire essence. Our next task is to craft fire essence and water essence, which I don't know that we're going to be able to do. Is it resources? No. Magic here? Nope. I don't think we even have that unlocked yet. Actually, let me check here. Thaumaturgy. Yeah, we do not even have those things unlocked yet. So, we're going to go around and we're going to harvest a bunch of magic shards and do stuff like that to level our thaumaturgy. 
But guys, I think that's going to be it for today as far as this episode goes. I've done a bunch of random things, shown you what the shape-shifting looks like, fixed the server. Thank you for fixing the server game. Yay! So guys, if you like this episode, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of Dark and Light! Yay, guys! Bye!